this engine rebuild, I came across a bolt that the previous owner had stripped out. These are the bolts to hold the main bearing caps upright. The one between cylinder number three and four is clearly rounded off and stripped out. This is what it should look like. It's in a tight spot and we can't get a grip on it with anything else. This method only works if you own or have access to a welder. Doesn't really matter what kind. In this video, I'm gonna be using one of my MIG welders. First, we have to find a nut that'll work. Something like that. Next, I'm gonna wheel the engine over to my welder. I'm just gonna use this to clean up the head because I can't find my Dremel at the moment. Gonna get in there real nice, clean it up. I'm not too picky on this one because I'm gonna really crank my amps up to get a good bond. Flip your welder on. Make sure your gas is on. Make sure I'm on MIG. Gonna go to auto set real quick just to make it easy. You can adjust your welder however. I like to put out pretty good output just so we get a pretty good bond. Hook your ground clip up somewhere, make sure it's got a good bond. Grab your helmet, grab some needle nose pliers just to hold the bolt in there while we weld it, just like so. I'm gonna set you down for just a minute so I have two hands while I do this. Make sure you got a good grip on your nut there. And we're just gonna weld on the inside of it once we get against the block gonna fill that entire inside. Bubble check you're in the right spot when you go crazy. Let's kill it. Now you can see that I filled that right full. So that's got really good contact in there because we don't want to do this twice. Grab yourself a socket. I believe that one's 9 sixteenths. It in fact is. I'm going to be using an impact just to make this easy. I'm sure you can use a normal ratcheting wrench um, and break it with, you know, a little bit of effort. But we're going to make this easy since we have it ready to roll now we just got to cross our fingers get on there real good and there it is it's gonna be real hot so you don't want to grab it I almost did grab your pliers pull it out there we go that's always been my best method for removing stripped out bolts like that it's always worked pretty good as long as you have access to a welder um, yeah, give a go at it.